Today, we embark on a journey. A journey to find what is potentially the most obscure dungeon in Realm of the Mad God. To reach this dungeon, we must follow a path. A path first traveled by our ancestors from 2020. That's right, we are retracing the April Fool's ARG 2020. This quest is rather complicated, and so I've made a map that will help us to get not lost. But I also have the Realm of Wiki page open, which should help just a little bit. For this quest, we're going to need a few items, specifically not a bad set, and also the Hive Master Helm. I have a shiny one, fortunately. But also, I I don't trust Decca, so we're going to get a regular one as well, just in case the shiny one doesn't work. And then we're going to get some good items, uh, including the Exalted God's Horn, which you're not supposed to use on sword classes, but I'm sure no one will mind. The first step of this ARG actually takes us to Reddit for the April Fool's 2020 patch notes. I'm not going to do that, though, because... The dialogue that I need is just on the Realm I page. They were talking about new items added to the machine, and then I mentioned at the end, let's just hope there are no bugs in the program. So how would we introduce bugs to the machine? Uh, well, more on that when I actually get to the machine, which will take a little while because it's kind of a rare dungeon actually, although I did play a bit today and I saw it like a million times, and it's actually 625 UTC, that's the new clock. I am never going to find a machine. Not with this gameplay. If I were a sorcerer, you'd all be dead right now. And this is the machine. Took a little while to get here because I actually found one and I did not pop a key. It's a mid-level boss dungeon where you fight a boss. That being said, our objective lies at the end of the dungeon after the boss has been defeated. So we gotta do a bit of clearing. Maybe we'll get some rare drops though while we're here. This is gonna be a problem. We're fine, divinity's absurd. After the boss the machine has been defeated, it'll die in just a second here. You get a white bag, okay, sure, why not? You can also use your ability, and yeah, as I suspected, the shiny one doesn't work, which means we use the regular one. Bug detected system, a way to administer your password to initiate insect confusion protocol. What does that mean? Uh, we don't know yet. Oh, I got a no drop for some reason. I think it was a dungeon modifier. Anyways, we don't know the password, so we're kind of stuck here. Request timeout. Consult Portal Travel Admin for Insect Confusion Protocol permissions. Portal Travel Admin. So, who do we know that's good with portals? I'll give you three, two, one, it's Craig. Craig manages Oryx's portals in the Court of Oryx, so he probably knows a thing or two. At the time of this ARG's release, you could not find Craig in Sprite World, so the only reasonable way to find him was in the Court of Oryx. This is gonna be a long day, or night. Hopefully I can encounter at least one int before- oh, there's an int right there. So this is Oryx's castle. It looks a little bit different because it's a Halloween event, so it's infected and whatnot. We're here for the Court of Oryx. I said that earlier, but it has been half an hour since the last bit. Fun trivia fact, when this arena was first used, you actually fought the Nightmare Colony here, and that's why these walls are at the top. I've already prepared the message. I don't know when we say it. I think we just says it after Craig says his, this is the deal. And now we say it. Hello, Craig. How did you... Listen, I really can't talk about this while I'm at work. If Warwick's ever hears about this thing, he'd have it destroyed immediately. You've got me on the ropes here. Please speak to me some other time. You're gravely endangering the both of us. Please, just take one of these portals and get out of here. Um, I would run Shaitan, actually. I'm trying to get a large flames cloth. Uh, not this time. Too bad. You remember earlier I said the only reasonable way to access Craig was through the Court of Oryx, at the time of the dungeon's release anyway, but there was a second way, and that is a random event in the guild hall, so we might be healed a while. You can speed it up by asking guild about Craig, so we're gonna just spam this until eventually Craig shows up. You know, while I'm here I can actually go for one of the other rare things. I can get the Reception of Gil pet skin. I've never actually had that one before. I probably won't get the pet, but I'm gonna be here until I get Craig, and I probably won't get Craig either. Oh! Holy moly mackerel. I got it. Okay, that was two... No. That was two chests. Th th thank you, Craig Gil. Greg. Yeah, thank you, Gil. Okay, I got the Perception of Gil pet. We're gonna add that to our collection of rare stuff that I've been getting... That wasn't supposed to happen. Anyway, can I get Craig now? The event can just happen randomly without this dialogue, but this dialogue also has a small chance to trigger it. 
Oh, here he goes. He's here. Holy moly, that didn't take long. I said holy moly again. Anyway, hi, insect confusion protocol. Darn, I wish you'd forget about that. Fine, fine, I'll tell you everything I know. The place you're trying to access is known as the Inner Workings. I first found it long ago, when I was just visiting random dimensions as all young sprites do. I had a key, but, uh, lost it. Perhaps you should ask a more knowledgeable entity? Just tell him I sent you. I need to go. I really can't help you with any more of this. I. Gil does not know what happened. That's okay, we're gonna thank him anyway for the pet. I do have an item for Priest, actually. I need to save it, though. Also, you're seasonal, so I can't trade it. Oh, there's a cursed library. See? I told you someone would call it. So, as you've probably guessed, the more knowledgeable entity that Craig mentioned is the Realmai, who is behind this wall right here. Which means I have to clear this entire dungeon, and then come back to the start and fight a deceptively difficult boss, actually. It does a scary amount of damage. So one thing you need to know about the Realmai's dialogue is that it's going to be encoded. Uh, I'm not going to waste your time deciphering that code. The decipher code is on Realmai if you're interested. Actually, I can just read it off the Realmai wiki and do my own old narration. However, there's a second dialogue prompt that I'll have to put in after the first one. But anyway, hello Realmai. I need to know about the inner workings. There's going to be two sets of dialogue. And then... Craig sent me. Or maybe... There we go. And now he's going to tell us everything he knows. That's all he knows, I guess. Let's see, did I do this right? No, I didn't do it right. I didn't wait long enough. Oops, well, okay, well, we gotta do it again. This first dialogue... Oh my, adventurers. Although I am glad to share my information on almost any subject, I believe it is in everyone's best interest that some things are best left unsaid. Simply speaking, this already suggests you may have meddled with something beyond your understanding. Without excellent reason, I simply cannot speak more on this topic. But anyways, why the Realmai is willing to share information on the topic because Craig sent you is beyond me. I guess that means Craig is a very influential entity in the realm. More influential than you'd think. Oh, it looks like actually they might have... Okay, actually, they might have changed this dialogue. So what the Realmai normally says, if I did it correctly, which I might have simply not have, Oh, I see. Yes. I am aware of the place known only as the inner workings. However, I assure you even my knowledge is limited. I have reason to believe that this chamber is where the mythical concept of drop rates are calculated, the rhyme and reason behind the loot you require. But I know not how one would intrude. Only an extraordinarily advanced scientific researcher with an intense interest in simulation theory may have your answers. So that leads us to our next step, which is of course, well, what do you think it is? It is Dr. Terrible, but not just any Dr. Terrible. Because there's no way to interact with Dr. Terrible as a character, we have to go to the beekeeper's computer in the nest. Because in case you didn't know, the beekeeper is in fact Dr. Terrible. However, that means I do have to go find a nest. This could take another hour because it's the nest. What a pain. We are nearing the end though, fortunately. So let's try to guide the group into the treasure room since I would much rather... The, the group. There isn't a group, is there? Wow, I've gained over a thousand fame on this adventure. Because I started almost exactly at 5,000. This is going to go up and then hopefully to treasure room. And you want to rotate slowly. Because there are breaks in the flamethrower usage. That give you a chance to switch rotation. And we are red. Red is confused. I got our broken. That's scary. Don't get hit by the stars though. The stars could confuse here. Simulation theory. We're going to wait no simulation theory. Okay. Loading postpeaceresearch.txt. Research log 65535. 23 2020. Orcs forgot to give me a new assignment. This has enabled me to work on whatever I please. During my research into simulation theory, I believe I have found irrefutable evidence that this world is indeed being controlled by higher powers. A strange dimension exists, exerting power over the land's most basic functions. And that's not all. Even deeper in this chamber is a tool not too dissimilar from an advanced piece of technology from my own world. After approximately 425 hours of research, I was able to crack it. I can now confidently conclude that Oryx's realm is not only a simulation, but also happens to be a Turing complete. This would make for a notable paper. It seems, however, that Oryx has remembered my existence and I need to work for him again. Perhaps slowly I can document my findings, whenever I have time. I hacked the dimension's surprisingly weak security system and created a backdoor for myself. But I do not trust myself remembering the access protocol, so I will leave it here as a note to myself. To witness my greatest discovery, one must initiate the insect confusion protocol to lay bare access to my finest research. The protocol requires the alphanumeric code 
773-728-993 for authentication. That being said, I'm going to go back to the realm wide post and decode that. Dr. Terrible says that the code is alphanumeric. One has to match these numbers on the letter mapping of the international standard phone keypad. The result obtained is then PPE BTWXD, which references the meme PPE by the way LELXD from the Realm of the Mad God community. So yeah, it's a meme. The code at the end is a meme. But to enter that, I do have to go back to the machine and I have to edit the code and I have to use the regular BM because the shiny one doesn't work and I have to walk all the way back to the entrance, which is, it's actually right here. That wasn't that bad. Then I have to wait for a machine to drop, which could take upwards of hours, potentially. I'm sure it'll work. I'm sure a machine will drop for someone. I mean, at least probably. Okay, it's been like an hour. I'm going to be honest. You can look at the server time. I'll explain what the inner workings is once we get there. Actually, Craig will explain it. Craig is there. We're going to use this and get ready to put in the password. And there we go. Administrator authenticated. Initiating insect confusion protocol. Insect status. Confused. Initiating context switch for insect confusion completion. Kernel mode activated. Program status word preserved. Summoning ring zero resources for insect confusion completion. Uh, this person doesn't know what we did. This is the inner workings. I was able to make my way back in here after you solved the last piece of the puzzle. Best make sure I never forget how to access this place again. Anyway, I've been able to understand a little bit about what this thing does. If you'd like to hear, stay a while and listen. Otherwise, take this teleporter to the right of me and to jump right in. Can't guarantee you'll know how to use it though. From what I was able to observe, it seems that you could put some glyphs at the bottom of the machine. I think they're called numbers? I don't know. Anyway, there's a special glyph between the two. It makes the machine use the glyphs differently. The glyphs themselves are quite easy to interact with. Just hit those things with some force and they should react immediately. Anyway, after you choose the glyphs and stuff, stand near the special glyph between the two and say, start. I don't know why it's activated like that. Seems like a bit of a design flaw if you ask me. But after you've done that, some pink dots should appear on your map. I think it means the machine requires you to be nearby to proceed. It said something about the server spinning distant objects, whatever that means. When you're close enough, the pink dot should vanish and instead a thick red border should appear on your map. From what I was able to discern, this means that you should not leave the red border. At least one of you has to stay inside it or the whole thing could break. When the machine is done doing whatever it does in the red bordered area, the border should vanish. This always means you're free to move outside it again. When that happens, you should just move to the next pink dot to proceed with the execution of the machine. This routine is likely to complete a couple of times at different locations, until the machine is done processing your input. It will then give an output of glyphs similar to your input. I believe it's called math. Depending on how big your input was, it seems processing could take up to an hour. And worst of all, after that it resets and you can do it again. Forever. There's nothing to fight, there's nothing to loot, there is no glory to gain. This machine is both ridiculously complicated and ridiculously useless. Yeah, there really isn't much to do here other than listen to the machine buzz for all eternity. You wouldn't be able to chat with your friends because the thing is so terribly loud when it's operating. But if you're ready to waste some time, you can always come here and spin it up. It was made to be used, and used it will be without purpose or reason. Oh, and also, I found one extra note about this thing on Dr. Terrible's personal log thing. It says, This machine is a 16-bit and supports values between negative 32,768, 32,767, for addition and subtraction, and values between negative 65,536, 65,535 otherwise. Whatever that might mean. I wish I could explain to you what that means. I'm just a finite state machine, so the whole concept of numbers and math is impossible to ever be comprehensible to me. Anyway, the teleporter over there is still active. Take it whenever you feel like, or leave if you prefer. If this was a bit much for you to take in, just stick around. I'll repeat myself in 30 seconds if you're still there. It is a calculator that takes an hour to calculate. Anyway, Craig's gonna repeat himself. We gotta use the calculator to calculate some numbers. There's so many numbers. It looks like the other person left. That's too bad. I think you need two people to operate it. And like Craig said, it can take up to an hour to actually calculate anything. Divinity is not the best tool for doing this. We're gonna do an addition problem. This is just a calculator and nothing more. That's what Dr. Terrible's logs were referring to. It also implies that Dr. Terrible's from the real world, which is a whole lot of lore. I don't want to unpack that right now. Anyway, I want to add 16 plus 16. And would you look at that? It requires two players to function, so I can't even do it. 
which is unfortunate. I don't, I guess I'll never know what 16 plus 16 is. But with that all said and done, this was quite the adventure. I even got a pet skin out of it. Didn't have that one unlocked until now, but I had a lot of fun. It was really long, especially that last machine took me in over an hour to find. But before we say goodbye to this journey, let's take one last look at our map, and that is a duck.